Hi everyone, Janie here and today I'm going to share a really cute frame I made using this Build It's kit that I got from Create for Less and it has been really fun to um, decorate and put together. But before I share that with you, I want to remind you all to visit Crafter's Castle and enter your beautiful creations in our challenges. So the link is below to Crafter's Castle and the challenges are anything goes. Always anything goes, even though occasionally we will add, you know, a kind of a twist or an option that we encourage you to do but you don't have to, it's anything goes. And you can be a card maker, a scrapbooker, mixed media, um, home decor, it doesn't matter, it's open to you. And the exciting news is this month, Create for Less is our sponsor and they are offering a prize of a $100 gift certificate to their store, to the winner of April's challenge. And I am not mistaken, and you heard me right, a $100 gift certificate. So you are not going to want to miss out on entering the challenge this month, April 2018, because it is going to be awesome. So head over there and get your entries in now. And now let's head on over to my craft table, and I'm going to show you what I made and how I made it. The Build It's kit that I'm going to work with today is the Framing Friends Bear, and it is great for kids and adults. So let me open this up and show you what comes inside. Since the pieces are white, I thought I should put down my craft mat so that you could actually see them. And so what you get in this kit are 16 pieces of very sturdy chipboard, and you get everything you're going to need other than the stuff to decorate them with. And the cute little bear, look at this. You get two eyes, you get his nose and his face and everything to put together. You get his two cute little paws and all the other pieces that you're going to need, including the mat and frame. And that is eight by 10, but it holds a five by seven. And you will also get, let me pull this over here, you will also get the assembly instructions so that you know what you're doing. And it's really easy, like it says on the front, that it's great for ages 10 and up. So I am looking forward to decorating this and putting it together. The first thing I did was give all the pieces a coat of paint, getting them ready for the crackle paint technique, which looks like this. And if this is something that interests you, I have a link below to a tutorial that I did on how to do this crackle paint technique because it gives pretty much anything an awesome distressed look. The next thing I did was use this adhesive spray to spray the pieces that I'm going to be adhering to denim. And so I sprayed them and I adhered them to the denim that I wanted to use for this. Now that I've cut out all of the pieces that I had adhered to the denim, I layered everything to get an idea of what it's gonna look like. And as you can tell, his nose and his paws are not denim. I actually adhered those to faux leather. I thought that was gonna be perfect for his nose and his paws. And now, I'm going to follow the directions that came with the kit and I'm going to start putting all of this together and I'm going to be using my Beacon 3-in-1 glue. I love this stuff. It holds really well, it dries quickly and so let's get started. Because there's so many openings 
um, in the paw for glue to seep through if I used wet glue. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this um, spray adhesive, which is the same thing I used to adhere the pieces to the denim. So I'll be right back while I go spray them and put them on. And now that I have all of these pieces adhered together, it is time to work on putting the picture in the frame. So that I would know where to place my picture, I put the frame on top of the mat and I used a pencil to draw an outline so that now I have an idea of where the picture is supposed to go. And probably the most um, difficult time I had was picking a picture that I wanted to use. So I'm lining that up and I'm going to use a little scotch tape just right here to hold it on the bottom. And on the top. And I think that should hold it just fine. And so let's see how this is going to look. Okay, it looks like I need to lower it just a tiny bit. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Okay, now I have it lined up the way that I want it. So I'm going to set this part aside. And the next thing I need to do is, hold on a second here, is adhere the bear's head to the top of the frame. It looks like the next step is to slide the picture frame through these little slots on each side. So let me do that and then we'll get on to the final steps. It took a little work, but I got it on there. As you can see, I'm having a problem getting this whole thing, you know, all on the screen at one time because it's so big. This is huge. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I need to do is attach the arms and legs to the side. And because there's so much going on here, I'm going to do that off camera. The best way for me to show you the finished frame and get it all on camera at the same time is to do a slideshow. So here it is, and I think it came out perfect. It is just adorable, every little piece of it, and I hope you like it too. Thank you all for watching today. And if you love today's project, there are links below to Create for Less and to the Build It's Frame that I used. But I'm also going to put a link to basically the page with all their Build It's on it so you can see um, all the different ones that are available. They are so fun to do. They are great for kids, great for adults. You're just going to love it. And also, don't forget, links are below to Crafter's Castle with a $100 gift certificate to Create for Less up for grabs this month. Happy crafting, everyone. Bye-bye.